Round with BTS. Match consonants and vowels to create hunger. Learn how to write BTS in the Korean language. Learn how to read and write in Korean by matching tiles with BTS word cards. To create a syllable, use a consonant to create the initial sound. Vowel creates the middle sound. Some words may have a closing consonant called pachim. You need to combine consonants with vowels to make a syllable. You can rotate letters to create different consonants and vowels. You can even combine tiles to make new letters. There are four game modes that do not require any Korean language proficiency to play. Round syllable making. Be the first to make a syllable from the word on the card. Separate consonant tiles from vowel tiles, then shuffle both groups face down on the table. Each player randomly takes 13 consonant tiles and 11 vowel tiles. Flip all tiles to make them face up. Shuffle the card deck and place it face down. Each player takes 3 tokens. Reveal the top card from the deck and place it face up. Combine your tiles to make one syllable from the word on the card. You can use a token instead of any tile. And you can use up to three tokens when making a syllable. If you finish matching, shout down. If you match the tiles correctly, take the card. If not, remove the card from the game. All used tokens are removed from the game. The round ends if the card has been taken or removed from the game. To begin a new round, the player who shouted round returns five tiles of theirs to the center. Everyone else follows in a clockwise order. In the same turn order, players must take five tiles from the center. The player who shouted round reveals a new card. First to collect five cards wins. Round Speed Challenge. Each player has one turn to match tiles with as many card words as they can. Separate consonant tiles from vowel tiles, then shuffle both groups face up on the table. Shuffle the card deck and place it face down. Prepare the sand timer and remove all tokens. Then choose a starting player. In a clockwise order, each player plays the full round before the next player. The current player reveals the topmost card from the deck and flips the sand timer. Create the word on the card using tiles from the center. If a word has been completed, reveal the topmost card from the deck and place it on top of the previous card. Return all tiles to the center and match tiles for the new card. If other players discover that the match is incorrect, shout STOP. The player who shouted STOP should stop the sand timer. If the tile does not match the word on the card, stand the sand timer up so the current player can continue matching. However, if the tiles did match the word on the card, the player who shouted STOP receives minus one point. Record penalties on a piece of paper, then continue the sand timer. You can always skip the card by turning it face down. Then reveal the topmost card. Your round ends when the sand timer runs out. Add all the circles on each of the face up cards that you finished. Each circle is one point. Once all players finish, add all points and deduct penalties. The player with the most points wins. Round tile switching. You have 8 tiles that you must switch around with face down tiles in order to complete one of 3 open cards. Separate consonant tiles from vowel tiles and shuffle both groups face down. Pile all tokens together. Each player randomly takes 8 consonant tiles and a screen. 
Hide your tiles and turn them face up. Take all two syllable cards. These will have one circle on the card. Shuffle these cards and place the deck face down. Then reveal the top three cards. Each player selects one of their consonant or vowel tiles to place face down outside of their screen. Once all players have done this, return these tiles to the center. Then, each player takes a new tile from the center and places it face up behind their screen. If you can match any of the cards, shout Raon! The player who shouted Raon must recreate the word with tiles face up outside of their screen. Unused tiles must not be revealed. If multiple players simultaneously shout Raon, those players can recreate their word at the same time. If your completed tiles match a word from the cards, take one token. If your tiles do not match the card word, return your tiles behind your screen. Each time you match incorrectly, you must return one of your tiles to the center. Your total number of tiles is permanently reduced, so be careful. The round ends when the player takes a token. Remove all cards from the game and return all tiles face down to their respective piles. Collect three tokens to win. If multiple players collect three tokens, reveal one more card and play a round only among these players. The winner is decided here. If there is still a tie, the tied players win together. Round card taking. Get points by completing card words using tiles. Be the first to receive four or more points. Place all tiles face up in the center. Each player takes one screen. Remove all cards that have a value of four points. Shuffle the remaining cards and place them face down in the center. Reveal the top six cards beside the deck. Choose a starting player and give them a token. The token merely indicates the starting player. Turns proceed in a clockwise order. Each turn you must either take tile or take card. Take one tile from the center and hide it behind your screen. Take one card from the six revealed cards and hide it behind your screen. Now only you can complete this card. You can have up to two incomplete cards at any time. If take card is performed, reveal the topmost card from the deck. If you can complete a word, shout round. Match your tiles outside your screen with one of the six open cards, or one of your cards taken from the take card. You can perform word completion once each turn. If you completed a card from take card, reveal the card to others. Each circle on the card is one point. If your tiles do not match the card word, return those tiles behind your screen. If word completion failed from a take card card, return that card behind your screen. It is the next player's turn. When someone reaches four points or more, turns proceed up to the player right of the starting player. The player with the most points wins. If there is a tie, compare the number of tiles in their cards. The player that used more tiles wins. If there is still a tie, the tied players win. That's it for round with BTS.